Today I'm painting Jeanne from Zombicide Green Horde. Alright, so I started off this miniature with some uniform gray primer from the Army Painter. As you can see, she's a pretty nice uh, minifigure actually, a lot of details on her, but actually very simple. And I think she's based off of uh, Jeanne d'Arc. So I'm going to use some Grimoire Purple from the Army Painter Paints. And this is going to be for her whole cape. Alright, so please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to find out when new videos are up. As well as you can find me on Facebook, on Easterlings Gaming, on Instagram, on Rob D. Easterling, and on this YouTube channel, Rob D. Easterling. All right, now we're gonna move on to her skin with some corpse pale from the Army Painter. Uh, very simple, it's for her face and on her hands. All right, now I'm gonna move on to Mars Red from the Army Painter. And this is pretty much for all her uh, leather armor and her skirt and her hair. She has pretty much the exact same colors on everywhere in the artwork, so this comes out perfectly and later on with a wash, really nice. All right, now I'm gonna move on to Claymore Blade, which is a Zombicide Black Plague paint from their paint set. And this is uh, going to do her sword. Alright, moving on to another paint from the Zombicide Black Plague set. It's Leather Brown from the Army Painter. And this is fairly simple. It is just for her belt. Alright, I'm going to use some Nuln Oil, which is a Citadel shade. And I'm going to pretty much use this on the entirety of the miniature, except for the sword and the flesh. And like I said, I used that uniform gray uh, as a primer. And as you can see, I left it there because her armor is actually gray with a little bit of shining, uh, like shining armor, which I'll do a dry brush on all her armor and it'll actually get all the raised areas and come out really crisp and clean. All right, now we're going to use a metallics color from the Army Painter, which is Weapon Bronze. And this is to do uh, the bottom part of her skirt and as well as her cape. 
I noticed on the artwork she had this like nice little golden band, but I find the weapon bronze comes out a little bit nicer on these colors. I don't have to tell you what the flesh wash is for, which is from the Army Painter as well, one of their washes. It is a very lightish brown. It's going to go on her skin just to make those colors pop a bit. Now off screen, I did try to attempt to do her lips and her eyes. I am terrible at doing faces, so it's not the greatest, but still it doesn't show much. Now we're going to use a strong tone, and this is for the sword, because in the artwork it has like this uh, brownish gold color to it, and I didn't want to do gold color, so this makes it look a little bit more used. As you can see, and now I'm going to come in with a dry brushing uh, to use it on her dress. So I use the exact same color I did before, which was Mars Red. And I just go over the same spots again, trying to get just the raised areas. And it makes that leather armor pop a little bit more, as well as her dress. And then I come back with the dry brush with a white added to the Grimoire Purple. And to make her cape really light in certain areas of the light and darker where Targ is. Now I'm going to use some Evil Chrome and Tainted Gold, which are both from the Metallics Colors paint set from the Army Painter. And this is actually going to be the dry brushing that I'm going to do on her uh, armor. And as you can see, it just gets the highlights, like the raised areas, and gives it that perfect armor glimmer. All right, so Jeanne is painted up. This is what she looks like. And if you want to see some more, uh, just a detailed picture of her, you'll see it at the end. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Now you go paint your miniatures and get them to the table.